What's up guys, James Carter TV and the Cleveland Browns have been taking notes. They are following the trend of the Tennessee Titans that they sent a week ago and the Cleveland Browns have decided to trade down, trading with the Philadelphia Eagles and the trade is as follows. The Eagles would get the second overall pick. They will also get the Browns 2017 fourth round pick and the Browns get the number 8th pick the 77th pick, the 100th pick, the Eagles first round pick in 2017, and the Eagles second round pick in 2018. Now for those of you that follow my channel, you know I posted last week my thoughts on the Tennessee Titans trade, and that was from my Titans fan perspective, but I really like that deal for the Tennessee Titans, being able to trade down to accumulate picks and looking at that deal and just saying, you know, this is a really good team for the, this is a really good deal for this football team. I'm not going to do that today for the Cleveland Browns. And a lot of people are doing this. I'm not. And it's not because last week I was biased and because I'm a Tennessee Titans fan and I love that deal for them, but I hate it for the Cleveland Browns, whatever. No, this is the key distinction people are missing. As of this moment, do the Cleveland Browns have a quarterback? The answer to that question is no. Now, RG3 has a small possibility of ending up being a franchise quarterback he can, if he can finally figure things out again, if he can finally go back to his rookie form. I'm not betting on that. You can bet on that all you want to. I'm not betting on that. So as of this moment, the Cleveland Browns do not have a franchise quarterback. That is the key distinction. Whereas the Tennessee Titans, they had their franchise quarterback. They didn't need Carson Wentz. They didn't need Jared Goff. They could go down, accumulate picks, and I wouldn't care. Not only that, I don't think the Cleveland Browns have gotten a good amount of draft picks here to justify this move. You're talking about the number eight pick. Which I think you may st you still probably get a good player. I mean, you're probably going to end up getting Ronnie Stanley, Joey Bosa, or DeForest Buckner. Probably one of those three. And those are all really good players. But then you're talking about the 77th pick, a third round pick, mid-third round, the 100th pick, so a fourth round pick, the Eagles' uh, for a first round pick of next year, and the Eagles' uh, 2018 2018 second round pick whereas the Tennessee Titans got two second round picks of this year got the Rams oh sorry about that got the Rams first round pick of next year and third round pick of next year the Eagles are going to be a good football team this year the Eagles are going to be at least eight and eight this year you're talking about a team that has Jim Schwartz as their defensive coordinator that has a bunch of talent on defense like Fletcher Cox who continues to be an elite talent at his position. Connor Barwin, who had a little bit of, uh, of a down year last year, but he's still a very good outside linebacker. Brandon Graham, Malcolm Jenkins, really good defense. Now you're telling me you're going to give the Eagles a chance to get a quarterback? Eagles are going to be 8-8. Eight eight. They can be 10-6. and six. They can make the playoffs. They can make the NFC Championship. It's possible with that defense, and now you give them a quarterback? Their wide receivers are already good with Jordan Matthews. Nelson Aguilar, if you can figure it out. Running backs aren't bad either. Eagles are a good football team. And now you've, you've, you're have you getting their first round pick for next year. People are saying, well, the Browns could take a quarterback next year. Who? I don't know why people love Deshaun Watson. I don't get it. I, Deshaun Watson is fine. But I still have big concerns when it comes to whether or not he's going to be an NFL quarterback. Or I don't really have those concerns with Carson Wentz and Jared Goff. I'm not in love with Jared Goff. I think Carson Wentz will be fine. Jared Goff, I need to see a little bit more from, but I think he's definitely competent. I don't see, I, I I prefer him right now as a prospect over Deshaun Watson. I don't trust Deshaun Watson right now, and that is even assuming the Cleveland Browns are in position to draft Deshaun Watson because you're not, or at least you don't want to trade two 2017 first round picks in order to move up to take Deshaun Watson. That's your plan. Then why didn't you just take? Carson Wentz with this first round pick this year or Jared Goff with this first round pick this year. It doesn't make much sense to me. It's not a horrible deal for the Cleveland Browns necessarily, but I just I disagree because you don't have a quarterback right now. And you have an opportunity right now to fix your quarterback position 
Make sure you have Deshaun Watson, you have Brad Kaya. And right now, I prefer Jared Goff over Deshaun Watson and Brad Kaya. You should have took one of these quarterbacks that in 2018, I can't believe a 2018 first, uh, second round of 2018. Hugh Jackson, you're not going to be around in 2018 at this rate. The team looks horrible. You have all these draft picks, but the majority of them are in the fifth round. You have like three picks in the fifth round. Who cares? You're going to draft anybody in the fifth round worth a damn. You have all these picks that you've accumulated. You better draft well because I, I'm telling you, I think the Cleveland Browns are going to regret this. Whereas for the Philadelphia Eagles, I love this deal. Oh, I love this deal for the Philadelphia Eagles. Again, the Eagles roster is nearly complete. Yes, they could use an elite wide receiver. Yes, they could use an elite cornerback. But for the most part, you're looking at a really good roster who... Their main position that is holding the back is a quarterback position. Now you are at a spot at the number two pick overall to finally shore up this position and compete and for the NFC East. The NFC East is an e- is one of the easier divisions to win in the NFL. 10-6 and six will win you the NFC East. It has won the NFC East pretty much for the majority of the past decade for the most part. So... The Eagles, they're now set up well. And, and knowing that they have Doug Peterson and this defense and these wide receivers and uh, a, a history of winning, honestly, the Eagles are a winning franchise. They may not have won Super Bowls or won Super Bowl in the past, but the majority of the time, the Eagles are a winning franchise. They're not a franchise that normally goes 3-13, and 4-12, and 5-11. and 11. They don't normally do that. People are pissed because Chip Kelly went 10-6, and six twice. That's what the expectations are in Philly. This isn't Tennessee or Cleveland. Cle- uh, Philadelphia is going to be just fine. They're going to get a quarterback. That quarterback is going to be in a good position to succeed, to grow, to become a franchise quarterback. We will look back on this deal for years to come. If we are going to say the Cleveland Browns missed out on an opportunity to draft Carson Wentz or Jared Goff, I don't care who it is. I think whoever goes to the Eagles here is going to be a good franchise quarterback because he's going into such a good situation. Doug Peterson, who I don't love as a head coach, but I I like him as an offensive coordinator. I like his ability to develop quarterbacks as he developed Donovan McNabb almost, what, 17 years ago um, as of this moment. I really like this deal for Philadelphia, but man, I think Cleveland is going to regret this. I mean, just, I, I, I don't understand it. You don't have a quarterback. You have RG3. I, I don't see any way. This works out well for the Cleveland Browns. And I actually had this deal. For those of you that saw my 2016 mock draft 8.0, I had Cleveland moving up to the second overall or uh, to the second overall pick. Wait, what did I say? I had Philly moving up, uh, trading with Cleveland to the second overall pick, taking Carson Wentz. So I actually predicted this trade, but I thought the Browns would get more than this to move down to number eight. I mean, only getting the 8, the 77, the 100, the Eagles' first-round pick of 2017, that will be in the teens or the 20s, the second-round pick of 2018. In 2018, the Eagles will be in the playoffs. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Listen to me. I guarantee it. So you're talking about a almost third-round pick for 2018. Who cares? I mean, anytime you're talking about a draft that is two years away, you better be giving me a first-rounder. And even if you are, I don't care because I may not be around to make that pick, and I don't think you Jackson will. Until next time, James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace.